Hey guys, this is your girl Antoinette with PBS Financial Coaching and Services. It is Mind Your Own Business Friday and you always know that I'm going to tell you to mind your business for one and I'm going to tell you how to mind your business too, okay? So as we go into the new year, 2022 is the year of the tiger, which means that we are setting um, intentions. We're going to achieve our goals. We're going to do what we say we're going to do, okay? So, I know you probably have written down some New Year's resolutions, um, but what you do after that? What, what do you do after you write the New Year's resolution down? So, one, you're going to um, write action steps on how you're going to achieve those goals, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, okay? So, you're going to write down how you're going to achieve those goals. Guys, this year is intentional. No more procrastinating. No more waiting. We have to be intentional on what we're going to do now. If your goal is to purchase a home, um, what does that entail? Mm -hmm. What do you need to do? What do you need to have in place? Is your credit score okay? Have you talked to a lender already? You may want to go ahead and go to your bank, talk to a mortgage lender, lender, and see what all you need to do. What different types of programs um, are you um, qualified for? There's FHA, there's uh, uh, Sally Mae, there's uh, uh, HUD, there's NACA. Um, there's different programs that you can get approved for besides a traditional conventional loan, okay? Those loans are actually have low interest rates. I know NACA does. FHA does, USDA um, has a low interest rate alone. So those are things that you want to look into. Um, also, what is going to cost you to purchase a home? We do know that there are fees. Um, there are closing costs associated with buying a home. Also, you're going to need down payment money, and that could be from 3% to 20%. It depends on what type of loan that you get. I know with FHA, uh, some of their loans are 3% up to 5%. NACA, you can get a loan about from 1% to 5%. So um, it depends. Now is the time to start um, researching things, researching uh, what you need to do to purchase a home. If you need to get a dependable car, what do you need to do to get the lowest interest rate possible? What does your credit score need to be? Um, what type of car do you want? How much down payment would you have to have? Okay, we need to start writing all this stuff down so that way you can plan and you can start saving. Um, you can start saving your down payment money. You can start uh, saving for a wedding if you're trying to get uh, married this year or in the next couple of years. Um, how much is that going to cost? Um, you don't want to spend your bill money getting married and then after the marriage you're struggling your credit cards maxed out. Both of you guys are arguing because you're broke, okay? Um, so you're going to be broke for the next couple of years because you're trying to pay off a $10,000 marriage, a uh, wedding, $10,000 wedding. And that put tension on marriages because, one, you know, the uh, fiancé may not have agreed to uh, those costs, and then you do it, you charge those things anyway, and that puts tension on the relationship and the marriage. And sometimes, you know, people get divorced because of that. Um, so you want to plan, guys. We need to start 2022 out right. Uh, mind your own business, okay? Uh, if it's, uh, you know, getting your kids financed together for your kids, start teaching them how to save. Start teaching them with uh, their allowances. I have written several books, and I'm going to be posting those soon to show uh, kids ages 8 to 17 how to set a financial game plan, which means that it'll show them how to use their allowances to save, uh, to invest, and um, to give. So those are the most important things. I always try. I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> Um, showing my kids and telling my kids to start with my grandkids now because you want to start them out at a young age. You don't want to wait until they're 16, 17 because uh, they've already set those um, 
well, how could I say it? Um, their their mind is already set on how they're going to spend their money. But if you start them off at age eight and tell them, hey, look, I know you got $20. You need to save 10% of that needs to go to your savings. 10% of that needs to go towards investing. Um, and then 10% of that we need to give to somebody. And you keep the rest of it and spend however you want. So we need to train our children on that now. So that way when they get older, it's already set in their mind. And they won't struggle like we struggle, right? <laughs> Man, I wish I had um, someone. If I wish I would have learned this at an early age because um, I know I would have been a, in a better financial position um, as to instead of, you know, where I am now, I will be younger um financially stable than older financially stable and you the younger you are the better it is um you don't want to work until you're 50 60 70 um and don't have a financial plan um that's the worst thing in the world to do and you're struggling so it's best to start out young come on guys financial um game plan let's get this together uh, if you need help, you know that's my job. You know that's what I do. Um, I am a financial coach. So, ooh, well, excuse me. I am a financial coach. So, if you need assistance getting everything together, uh, you're, you're going through a brain fog and you just don't know how to write out a plan, uh, reach out. Guys, reach out to me. I will help you do this. Let's go 2022. We're not playing with you, okay? This is the year of the tiger, and we are going to be relentless, okay, with our goals. Bye, guys. Peace.